All right, my brother. Yes, First sir. off, I just want to say thank you. Of course. Because you, you helped me out last week. Shout out to you, my nigga. Shout out to Tyrone last yeah. week. Niggas never was holding it shit. down, man. Holding it down. But yo, 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 welcome back to another. <laughs> Shout out to day two for always holding it down for every episode. <laughs> every you know day. what I'm saying? Every day. Every, every single day, actually. You know what I'm saying? But yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Records Podcast, episode number 29. And I'm here with my brother. What's good, Ty? You know what I'm saying? Big Fed in the building. You know what The biggest Fed. Yeah. The <laughs> yo, if you haven't already, follow us on TikTok at No Regulars. Yo, we at 90k, bro. We almost had 100k. Oh, yeah, 90k. 90k is OD. That's hard. 90k. That's hard. I think we had a million, That's a million hard. likes, bro. A million? A million likes, bro. Shout out to y'all on TikTok, man. Uh, follow us on Instagram at No Regulars Podcast. Follow us on all podcasts and platforms at No Regulars Podcast. Follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, all that. And drop a comment. Not a comment. Drop a review down below. And Apple Podcast, you know, helps us with the algorithm. I'm not begging y'all no more. If y'all want to, y'all can. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, Chim really changed the game. <laughs> hey. He's going to stop begging him. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey. I'm just saying, because, like, they watch the, They listen to it. Yeah. Like, you could just rate it on the bottom. It don't do it's too easy. much. It's free. Let it's me see free. how many ratings we got, bro. Let me a see. A rating and a like is so free. Exactly. It's the freest thing ever, bro. Exactly. Let me it's see. appreciated. Like, Apple Podcast, we only got... If if we don't have ten, y'all is wildin', bro. What ten ratings? Yeah. Damn. If we don't have ten, oh shit, hold on. I'm what? fake if I ain't rate it. Yeah, very fake. Uh, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got twelve. We got twelve. All right, uh, all right, all right. Uh, four point eight uh, out of five. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Oh, four point eight out of five is very. That's fine. Right. Twelve rating. That's fine. But if you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Hit the comment section. Go ask some questions if you need to. Um, what else? Like the like the video if you haven't already. And send it to a friend to tell them to send it to another friend. All that weird shit the TikTok sent, TikTokers and YouTubers say with their intros. Or, you, yeah. know, all the, you know how it be. We yeah. almost had 900 subscribers, too. I think we had 896. I'm telling you. So fire. Bro. 100K, so fire. 100K, so 1,000 subscribers. We're dropping merch. I already got the ideas. So fire. Oh New things God. coming on the way, man. New things coming on the way. But I brought Ty back here because we in the men's league. And we want to talk about it because last episode I talked about how I was jocking. I want to know from your point of view, Ty, and how it was going. Listen, I was listening to these these two boys, Chimdi and and, and Darius talk. Listen, <clears throat> first of all, everybody knows who uh, Carmelo Anthony is. If you watch basketball, you should know, right? Now, um, you remember Melo when he played for the Knicks? Now he just like walk up the court and shoot a three, walk up the court, call for a screen, not even use it, but just shoot. Yeah, that was Darius Watkins. That was exactly what he did that day, and he was just getting shots up. You know, my boy's a hooper. So I'm not really, you know, I'm expecting it to go in. But he wasn't also, he also wasn't on. And they were playing zone. If you hoop. That was a, it was a bad day. I had 20 and 10 though. It was a bad day. Cool. Your fault though. He was like, what, 10 for like 50. So no, nah, no, nah, like, I was no. That, I'm waiting for the stats. I have to be like 10 for 30. No, nah, that was bad stats. He That's was like, 30%. He was like Westbrook, I ain't gonna lie. It was like Westbrook or Melo on OKC type shit. Yeah, it was bad. But Tyrone told me to keep shooting, but he told Cordis I let I that told be him to keep shooting because, like, you feel me? On the team where we play at school, I'm used to him, like, making shots and, like, <laughs> at least looking for me, you feel me? So this time I'm like, ah. all right, he's going to find me next time until the end of the game. I'm like, he never found me. He just <laughs> he just kept going. That's tough. That's tough. But, weird. but I just want to talk about that because, you know, we play sports. And, like, UJ put in the chat the other day, what? who made booty slapping in sports okay? Like coaches, like you remember that video of Coach Locke smacking BJ in the ass, yeah, yeah hard yeah. as hell. Yeah, yeah like yeah. who made that okay? BJ didn't even flinch. But he didn't even flinch. That was crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna put it right here. That shit was wild. <laughs> like he won't wind it back and said, <sighs> "I know." Let's go. Lucky, Get back on defense. <laughs> that was crazy. Like Loki might. I'm not gonna it. lie. I feel like it. So what I heard is like, you remember when we played pure basketball? Yeah. What's um, the Bruce? coach I was in the NBA. The oh, 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 Jeff. Coach Jeff. Coach Jeff. He said you're supposed to smack the back of their thigh. <laughs> so I feel like it started off smacking their thigh, but I don't understand why you smack somebody's like, like why not just pat him on the back? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Why yeah. are you hitting somebody's thigh? But then I also think like, okay, maybe right. Let's see, yeah. low, low theory in jail, right? <laughs> you know how it gets a little mooky sometimes. <laughs> it's like good game. I'll see you later though, and it's. You feel me? That's the only way it can make sense because that makes no sense. Why are you smacking a man? That is true. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Because like when I like I actually don't smack my teeth. I don't smack anybody's ass. Like I don't either. Because I I'm not, I never think like good job. 
Like, like that's low key an old head thing. Yeah, it's like, weird. We don't do that. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. My coach, like, pause. My coach used to do that to me, like in the boys and girls. Damn, that's crazy. I know. Like, that's in the boys and girls club, they used to do that. I never do that to a teammate or nothing. That is weird to me. <sighs> they used to do that to you when you was a kid. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. You yeah. just exposed them niggas. Yeah, low key. Coach Barry. Send a chat. Yeah, no, no, expose him. Expose him. <laughs> we don't fuck with Barry on this side. Yeah, that's OD. Yeah, but yeah. not like I was always thinking that like and like like a mad <laughs> like you can't do that if you a girl if you coaching girls teams. If you're coaching a girls team, it's like where I'm not gonna lie, if I see my daughter like playing and I see some another six eight black man like, good job, shorty. That's crazy. You know that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm like, all right, all right. she didn't even play good. Relax. <laughs> that's that's so crazy, bro. I don't know how I feel about that, but but Coach Lock winded back and like really smacked BJ. He'd be ass. mad. He'd be he'd be in passion mode. Like I know say. his hand was stinging. Like that was crazy. Nah, BJ's butt was stinging. That's <laughs> nah, he'd be wearing like the little pads though. Oh yeah, yeah. So like he he might not have felt that, but yeah. I know Coach Lock hand was stinging, but that shit. Yeah. Hey. So. Booty slapping started in jail. That's what we, we sent, we're telling y'all this now, bro. <laughs> so, yeah. Started in jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard it here first. I know regulars. Yeah. Did, <laughs> wait, did you you told the the cast we won the chip? Oh no, I didn't. See, yeah, we won. I need the shirt. Yeah, yeah, I need the shirt. Put the little logo up there. You know, what I'm saying? I got you. I got it's you. It's basically like regionals. They make it. You know, so make it make sense. Yeah. But nobody slapped anybody's ass in that. Nah. When we won, we was all celebrating. Nobody slapped anybody's. It ass. was very. It was a weird celebration. Yeah, like, cause like we, like we, like we it's don't really a celebration for AIDS. I'm not gonna lie to you. I know, like we he don't... was on the ground, like Kobe and shit. <laughs> like, like the um, the little uh, like the video of it made it yeah. look so cool, but that's not how it seemed. Yeah, no. like, like I, like literally, yeah. I didn't know we was gonna run out there. I just oh. seen Kelvin run. I'm like, oh shit, we no, do it. I knew I was running out there and I was picking Abe up. That was nah, the first I, thing I was trying. I didn't to do. know what I was doing. I was just like running around. Was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, was, I swear to God. And then, and then Abe was just on the floor, I'm, and we all just looking at. Him, I'm like. What you doing? I'm, yo, I was like, why are we circling around eight right now, bro? I'm like, get the banner, party in the locker room. I ain't go lie. We were up there for mad long, I ain't go lie. On the That's what I'm saying. I'm like, what is, what is like, good with y'all? I take a mad long and dip. Bro, I ain't go lie. He did everything he wanted to do. Because you know how AB. Yeah. He pictured this moment in his head. Yeah, he did yeah, He yeah. did the little Matumbo on the floor, like yeah. laying down. He did the the holding. Literally, I, I literally held him in the air. That's, that's definitely what he wanted. That's so funny. I, I, I was like, yo, Abe, I'm going to pick you up. He said, yo, hurry up. Come on, come on. I'm like, right, <laughs> and I, looked, I said, Kelvin, help me out. And me and Kelvin just held him up. Bro, he, he held the trophy up in the air. Yeah. He was, he was doing it for the pictures. He got, he, yeah, he got He knew what he was doing. Up. He knew what he was doing. Yeah. Hey, shout out Abe, though. Shout out Abe, bro. OD. But yeah. you got anything you want to talk about first? I'll let you, I'll let you talk about the uh, topics first. Um, Yeah, so, you know, like I said, I'm big fed and all that. Yeah. So... The first, this is how I knew I was a Fed. This is like my dad. This is where my dad probably knew. Oh, he's gonna be a Fed. So <laughs> this is like top up top. seventh grade or sixth grade, right? Yeah. I accidentally like basically snitched on an entire party, right? And I didn't. How do you do that? It's it's weird. So nah, I'm snitching. And I'm a Fed. So <laughs> back, I used to hang out with these. You, you know Chris Erdman? I remember the name. I don't know Chris Erdman and the Sarge and Brian Fonseca. Oh, no, I don't know them. Names. Marcus McPherson. Are those the, I, the... The names ring a bell. They low-key were into theater in high school. But they were the cool kids in middle school. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. They're still... Marcus and Brian still cool for me. Those are guys. Oh, they, they, but, yeah. but, like, um, either way, if I had to a party at one of their houses, right? Yeah. And they sent out, like, a little text message. I think it was on Kick. Remember, Kick used to be popular. Yeah, yeah. Saying, like, oh, yeah, and, like, a little blurb. And it said at the bottom, BYOB. <laughs> so I'm telling my dad like Hey dad can I go to this party And whatnot? And I think I was in a car with Jabri And I'm like Can we go to the party And he's like Jabri's like Yeah it's gonna be at this place We'll just take it Remember the Union Taxi it Was yeah. an Uber It was a Union Taxi Yeah 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 We're gonna take the taxi there right So You guys like, used to take that taxi The five dollar taxi Yeah The one in the center Anywhere in Union Yeah I think it was seven actually It wasn't even five It was seven You're B. weird Yeah we used to split that <laughs> 350 <laughs> each <laughs> Yeah Yo. But, Yo, You're sick So we would go And I told my dad, and he was like, he's like, all right, you can go to a party. He's like, I've never been to a party. He's like, yeah, go ahead. My dad was all for me doing the hooligan shit because yeah. I was just a good kid, feel me? Yeah, for you. So we're talking about in our car, and I'm excited as hell that I'm finally going to a party and shit, right? Yeah. And he's like, he's like, whose party? Is it for a birthday? I'm like, nah, it's just a party. He's like, oh, it's just a party. Parents You're in go, sixth or seventh grade? Sixth or seventh. I don't remember. Oh, okay. And he's like, which is weird. As this goes on, you're going to Yeah, yeah. So he's like, he's like, oh, parents going to be there? He said, uh, I don't think so. I think his parents went away to. To a Puerto Rico, so I think like no one's in the house. So now, obviously, it's sounding kind of crazy, right? Yeah, Middle yeah. school had to be seventh. Now I think about it. But then he's like, so he's like, it's like, oh, what? So how'd you know? I'm like, oh, it's an invitation. And I'm like, we're an invitation. It's like, 
oh, come get ready to have fun. Um, BYOB, we're not going to have everything. Uh, and then he's like, <laughs> BYOB. <laughs> now, he was pressing me. I'm not going to lie. He was like, Tyrone, what does BYOB mean? He knew. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. And Jabri's just in the back silent. I didn't realize <laughs> until after he, Jabri pressed me like, yo, shut up. Like, for me. <laughs> and then like, yo. I'm over here like, BYOB. He said, bring your own. And I'm like, bring your own what? And he's like, <laughs> my dad's like, bring your own what? So I don't know. He's like, I'm like, I don't know. He's like, I think he says, well, bring your own bottle. Who's bringing bottles there, Tyrone? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, oh, well, I, you know, dad, I don't drink alcohol, so I'm not going to bring my own bottle. He said, like, oh, what does it mean? Bring your own bitch? Like, what is it? Like, <laughs> and I'm over here just like, nah, I don't even think. Well, I know Chris drinks because I've seen him drink. Now nah, I'm over here. Op- yeah, I'm over here. Wow. Op- I'm like, yeah, but like, I've been with him while he drank before. So and we, I never drank with him. Ah, and all that snitching. I'm like, I'm like. Maybe stands for blunt. You know I don't smoke weed. Yeah, I'm folding the bag. I'm wow. You feel me? Like so I'm was over, born to do this. Yeah, this is my life. This is the way I knew. <laughs> I'm like I should do. This is where I need to be. So and wow. then he was like, Yeah, we'll see. We dropped Jabri off, and then we're riding. He's just like, It's like yeah, I don't, I don't think you're gonna go to that party. <laughs> that's that's what he told me. But I don't think you're gonna go. We ended up going, but something happened. We ended up ending early or. They told me it ended early so I could leave. One of the two. <laughs> I don't really remember. Yo. But I remember, yeah, we, I, we ended up dipping out Whose of house was it at? This was at Erdman's house, I think. Or in the Sarge's house. Nice looking house. You know what's crazy? I was drinking that same They day. definitely gelled to me. I was so naive. <laughs> I got to the front. They're like, the party's going to be in the front yard. No cap. I got there. Jabri and them, I think we're already there somewhere. I don't yeah. Know. They were like, oh, the party's going to be in the front. And then I was in the front with like two people. They're like, ah, party's canceled, and then I left. I ended up leaving just, just like that. So they just lied to you. Yeah, they definitely gelled straight to my mitt. Wow. Yeah, it was over. <laughs> yeah, it was over. Yeah. This was in seventh grade, seventh bro. Seventh grade, yeah. yeah. They was drinking in seventh grade. Bro, I, That's sick. Niggas was. Nigga, sw- you know what I was doing this, in seventh grade, bro? <laughs> playing basketball. Nigga, I was playing basketball. I went to. I remember I went to one kid's party, bro. It was. <laughs> it was in. I right, look. Cause it, this goes into what I was gonna talk about. It go. It was in 2012, bro. I remember the day. It was the day they said the world was gonna end. Wait, real quick. Speaking of parties, do you remember in the seventh grade, right? Yeah. You were in eighth grade. I was in seventh grade. Yeah. You didn't invite me to your birthday party. Just saying. I remember <laughs> that till now. I remember you invited your brain. Didn't invite me. I was like, I was like, wait, you guys are going paintballing? No. And I was like, wait, they're sending out the invitations already. And he's like, he's like, yeah. We're, he said we're going next week. I'm like, what about me? <laughs> Yeah, no invite. You're crazy for that. Like, you know what's funny? I had those. I I pre-planned this before, like way before. Like I asked what, like, for what, people. <laughs> like I I had like the people's names. Like I asked for like their name and number. Like in May, like in June, like right before school ended. Damn. And then I had it so I could have it ready for you September. Had to save the whole time. Yeah, yeah. So the whole summer, like I knew that's that's What's tough. Different. You was like, fuck that name. <laughs> that's crazy, tough. Bro. That's tough. So do figure. But. In 2012, mm-hmm. the one part of that, that, like when I was in seventh grade, we went to my, it was my friend Sean's party, and mm-hmm. they, it was it was the day that they said the world was gonna end. Remember that? It was like yeah. December or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I but, remember the movie came out and all that. Yes, mm-hmm. and I was afraid that the world was gonna end. I wasn't gonna see, be there with my parents to see the world end, and it literally started. They you said, were at his party. I was at his house, and we was in the tramp. We was in the backyard on the trampoline and shit. Like niggas was wrestling downstairs, and then it started raining like hard, and they was like, "Yo, you you remember Quincy, right?" Quincy, uh, Quincy Bryant. the one with Mad Bounce, played baseball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, yo, I heard, like, the world's supposed to end, like, the, the rain is just going to split the earth, earth in half. I said... He doesn't be messing with you. Bro, He's I was, the type to just mess with you bro, on purpose. I okay. swear to God, I was just looking out the window, just waiting for the earth to, just yeah. to fold. <laughs> I remember when that happened, I was like, I went to Jose's house. Yeah. And I was at Jose's house, and he was like, him and his older brother. Yeah. His brother's like, he was like in high school, probably about to graduate this time. Okay. And he's over here, like, telling me, like... So yeah, volcanoes are erupting. He's like pulling up random videos of volcanoes. <laughs> he's like, he's like, yeah, the world's ending right now. And then I'm over here just quiet. I'm like, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I started crying like a bit. Like <laughs> I'm in his house in his basement crying. And he's like, so did you call your mom, Tyrone? And I'm like, I'm gonna call my mom right now. <laughs> and then I call my mom. She didn't answer. I'm like, I'm never gonna see my mom again. I started crying, wiping my face, like. Like I was snot coming from my nose, and then yeah, nah, I didn't cry. You they were just, nah, they were just laughing because I'm like, I'm never gonna see my mom again. Like I'm over here crying, and they were like, and they were just making fun of me, and they were like, yo, the world's not gonna end, bro. And they're like, wait, you were lying? Like literally, 
I didn't even think they could be lying. I just said, are you serious? And it was over, bro. Wow. And I remember, I remember ended up, I think I ended up calling my dad to pick me up early. Okay. He picked me up early. And when I went home, like it was too late. They said I was lying. It was too late. My dad was already on the way. You can't tell your dad. Never mind. <laughs> He's already driving. So then I got to the house and I remember just looking out the window and like it started raining mm-hmm. and just seeing a big branch fall in my front yard. You know the two big trees yeah, on my yeah. front? Just a big branch just fell. And I was like, is it real? Like I was shocked. <laughs> Literally hung out with my dad for the rest of the day. When my mom got home, I hung out with her for the rest of the day. Wow. So you just like, this is my last moment? I think that made me the most grateful for my parents. No cap. Wow. Right now, that, that moment was the final <laughs> moment. No cap. Yo. But I was talking about that because like, what if I would tell you the world low-key did end in 2012, but we just don't know about it? How would that make sense? All right. So look, there's a there's a, there's a a theory, right? That, um, you know Stephen Hawking's? Yeah. The guy in the wheelchair. He said if we ever find he the guy. Go- oh Wait, oh, he died? No, I'm just saying, is he not dead yet? Like, I don't know. He, I thought he was just like, I thought he was just a robot. Yeah, but what is it? Like, he said he found a God particle. Like, no, no. They said, he said if you if we find the God particle, like, it's going to, like, make, like, a big-ass black hole that's going to suck the earth in, but we'll never know it. It's going to take, like, a day. What is a God particle? I don't know what Wait, it is. it's like, it creates a black hole? Yeah. It's just like a like a particle in, like, matter and shit. So he said if we ever find it. Yeah, if we ever find it. Like, the world ends. The world ends in, like, a day. He said... Like we'll either get sucked, we're gonna get sucked into a black hole, into like another dimension type shit. Oh, that nigga is that? He did when he died. No, in twenty eighteen. Damn, that was pretty. In the United Kingdom, free that nigga. But in two thousand twelve, we actually did find it. They, I looked it up on Google. Like we, they said we found the god, the god particle in two thousand twelve. But was it found somewhere in like Europe? Like when they did it? Maybe I don't know. I just seen, I just seen like an article. I didn't read the whole article. Because I heard something about this. So. I'm not, you know, into, you know, astrology and all that. Yeah, yeah. But what I do know about is like, if they did create a a black hole, yeah, and they kept it open for too long, like they did something with some type of accelerator thing. Yeah. I like I don't know what it's called, so I don't want to say a fake name, but they were able to make an artificial black hole, mm-hmm. but they had to close it right away because if they kept it open for too long, we go get sucked. Black in. holes keep expanding. <clears throat> yeah. And it would just literally like implode the Earth into that black hole, mm-hmm. and it was like somewhere in like. It's funny, Ukraine or Russia or somewhere like, <laughs> somewhere like that, and they had to, and then it was like they made it like a law to never make, make a black hole again. Yeah, because if you make it and keep it open too long, it's like the thing that made it is gonna go in first, so you yeah. can't close it. Yeah, and now it's gonna keep expanding. Mm-hmm. So I think I don't know if that's the God particle or what. Like I don't know the science behind how they yeah, made it. Yeah, I don't it. know. But if we if that did happen, how would we be like conscious now? Because like. Like they, he said that we'll get sucked in, but like we will never know it. Like it's just like we're gonna oh. go into like another dimension type shit. We just like transport. Yeah, and it's like that's why we have like these little Mandela effect things. Like we think like something Is that, like you get went to like a parallel universe. Yeah, type of thing? like you, I right, like you know, there's a Mandela effect about Britney Spears. No, what's that? Like you know, back in the days, like everybody used to dress up like Br- uh, Britney Spears. Like when she was in that music video with like yeah. the red suit and the ma- and the microphone. Yeah, you know, she never had a microphone in that music video. If you look up the music video, there was no microphone. And like in all the like the little uh what's it called? And all the little toys that she used to have, like for Britney Spears, like they it had a microphone. Talking about the little thing that went over. Yeah, she didn't have it, bruh. <laughs> I'm trying like that's what I'm saying. Like that shit's crazy. Like everybody remembers it uh remembers a microphone. Even I remember that shit. I didn't even listen to Britney Spears like that. No, I'm typing the microphone now. I'm telling you, bro. No, 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 no. I'm t- I'm t- this shit's crazy, bro. Like, hell is shit, bro. Yeah, wait, wait. That's Photoshop. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so what they're saying, like, in a parallel universe, she did have a microphone. Maybe the old universe that I was I in. I could have swore, like, girls were wearing it for, like, Halloween. That's what I'm saying. But, like, that was never... Like, that's a big part of the costume, the microphone. Yeah. But she didn't have it. Like, you would... You, if you watch the video back then and she didn't have a mic- microphone, you would like obviously see it, and nobody would just put on a thing. It was it came with the the costume, even on the little uh that's the little Barbie is. doll toys. They cheating. They cheating. <laughs> like life is cheating right now. That's what they. That's hey, bro. Like maybe like in 2012 when we found that shit, like what? we just switched, went to like another parallel universe, and just like there's maybe just little, little like. Ripples. I'm not gonna lie. That would kind of explain like a lot of shit. It would explain some things. I mean, if we went into a black hole, though, it's like... Maybe it, not, it wasn't a black hole, you know but maybe... You what they're saying, though? Or would it basically, like, it is? Like, the universe is a black hole. 
Maybe. Because I think about it. The universe is constantly expanding and black holes constantly expand. So oh. every black hole is another universe. That's like a theory. Yeah. So if we went in, we're in another universe that's constantly expanding. Oh, uh, oh, okay. And our okay. universe is inside of another universe, which that universe, so that means like all black holes can expand as far as they want. Yeah. They're never going to stop. Like it's, everything's just expanding. Yo, imagine all this shit like that they, they tell us is just fake but because we're just in a simulation. I'm not gonna lie, because like, like this is some confusing shit. <laughs> it makes sense though. I yeah. mean, if I ever found out, like, say, like once I become big fed, yeah, like, and I find out a simulation, I'm cool. Mm. I'm letting it rock out. Hey man, I don't know if we live in a simulation. Yeah, I don't know. Speaking of fed, I got a, I got a question for you. What's right. up? So say you hit the lottery, mm-hmm. right? For five hundred k. Yeah. Your dad is in jail. He committed a crime. Uh huh. A crime where the bail is now. Four hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars to bail him out. You won five hundred thousand. Oh, so are you gonna bail him out? And now your earnings are only a thousand. Yeah, I'll bail him out. I'll so, get a thousand dollars. I'll just take a thousand. Because so, I don't want to. I mean, what? The, yeah, I'll take. I'll bail him out. Did you say you're gonna bail you that out? Yeah. Who aren't you bailing out? Who, how low? In the, <laughs> how low in the list does I have to get? Like, who am I not bailing? You bail your dad out. You bail your mom out. Yeah. You bail your sister out. Yeah. You bail Jay Lee out. Yeah, bailing Jay out. You bailing me out? <laughs> <laughs> see, see, it's different. <laughs> I like what you did there. Yeah, right? Four nine four nine nine or four ninety. You only get ten K now. Oh yeah, I'll take the ten K. I'll bail y'all out. You're a good man. I bail me, out. I'm not bailing him out. <laughs> because I'm like, if you are in if your bail is that high, you had to have like killed everybody. Like you had to have <laughs> do the most. So it's like I'll buy you a damn good lawyer. I'll spend like fifty K on a lawyer. Oh, <laughs> And if you didn't do it, the lawyer, you feel me? I'm going to get the best lawyer for you. I'm going to get OJ's lawyer. Did he do it? So, if he did it, he did do it. Oh, wow. But if you pay the bail, he never goes to jail. Like, basically paying the bail, like, watch I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll pay the bail. So, he never goes to jail? Yeah, for all my You bailing out a like, criminal? All, with all the members, bro. You, <laughs> everybody deserves a second chance. Oh, right, so you do that for, for all the gang? Yeah, all the members, bro. Yeah, you're different not doing it. Like, <laughs> like if for some reason, you went, you went haywire and just, like, started killing everybody. Like, I just murdered And I had to give up my whole lottery earnings. <laughs> if you didn't do it, I would think about it. But I'm probably just going to buy you a lawyer. Wow. Like, at least give me El Chapo's lawyer. I'm going to give you OJ's lawyer. I mean, did OJ, OJ still go to jail? He went to jail for some other shit, though. Oh, okay. Some okay. shit that, like, it was, like, blatant that he did. But, OJ, I mean, he blatantly did both of them. I'm yeah. not going to lie to you. <laughs> yeah, OJ hey, definitely bro. killed his wife. But yeah. Wow. That boy OJ crazy. But that's funny. You really did. <laughs> you go say, so who are you going to bail out? I like, think the only person who could get away with crime and I'll be a cool with is my mom. You're not bailing. You're not bailing your my, girl out. And my dad, maybe. Yeah, my mom and my dad. You're not gonna bail your girl out. She's wilding. She's wilding. What? <laughs> She's wilding. Yo. She said no. Now I only get ten. K- <laughs> nah, that's what And she did it. And she actually did the yes. crime. What she did it to protect you. All right, that's different. If she did it to protect me, <laughs> yeah. Like I'm about to get killed by like. The mob and she kills yeah. all of the mob. Yeah, like she jail. does like some John Wick shit. Yeah, then I bail her out. But yeah, I bail her out. But if it's like she just got mad one day at work and killed the whole, she works at daycare and killed the whole daycare. <laughs> it's deep. Like if she's being suspect, she's like, I didn't do it. I promise. And like I was with her that day and they're just falsely accusing her. Then yeah, okay. But she's just getting a good look. I don't think. Yeah, nah. My brother too. You gonna leave him in there? Dang, I love my brother. June, if you see this, bro. Don't commit no crazy crime because I ain't... You know what's crazy? What? <laughs> I will probably do that for my niece and nephew before I do it for my brother. Wow. Like, say it was like a crime. I mean, obviously, they're babies, but Yeah, like, but when they're older? Yeah. Wow. Then my bro- I mean... You really crazy. You nuts. <laughs> You're nuts. I don't know. You a fake ass. You really fake. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he did the crime. You do but the you time. You can't call me fake. I mean, that's... I mean, I do fake shit once in a while, but Once you... in a while, you do that on a regular... No, I don't. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm up at least twice a week. That's I think cap. three times a week. Three strikes, yeah, you so do something cap. fake. I'm going to start so telling cap. it. That's so cap. Yeah, I'm not Yeah, I'm not building niggas out, bro. bro. Don't do a crime, bro. Nah, bro. And and this, this is when you win the lottery. Like, if yeah, you I won the lottery. Wow. That's All cool. my earnings got to go to bailing you out. Crazy. Wow. You, you know somebody you know somebody won the lottery for $10 million like two years ago? And like he couldn't like uh, cash it in because of COVID and shit like that? But then he won the lottery again, like recently. So does he get to catch both of them now? Yeah. Nah, he cheating too. I think he cheating life too. Nah, he's cheating on D. Like that's not fair. Nah, I that's think that's not a, cool. I think that's that might be cool. a scam. I seen it on Instagram. That's not. It's definitely a scam because that's no not way. cool. Think about it. 
I'm over here betting on FanDuel. Did you win any? A parlay. Like, <laughs> bro, I broke even. My FanDuel is literally plus $10. That's it. And I'm not changing it. That's the free, you know, the free 10 they give you? Yeah. That's it. Wow. <laughs> so that's it. And I'm not, I'm putting in parlays over here doing research and shit. And I can't hit it. You know, a big parlay. Uh-huh. But you got guys just putting random numbers on tickets and hitting it twice. I know. Why can't a parlay do that, but you know what I'm saying? So I know, and the guys that be doing parlays that be uh do you know when they bet on like the the first person to score and they get all of them and they get like they bet like five dollars, they get like fifty thousand. You heard about Bentley? What nah? Bentley just hit a parlay one dollar, he turned it into five K. Five K? That's tough. That's very hard. Yo. I think it's capped though. You, I'm, you know, I'm I'm king hater, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Big I can't hater, let it big slide. Hater, big hater. But like he, nah, that's I'm not crazy. Gonna, there's no way, bro. There's no way. <laughs> One bean to five k. No, nah, I'm not buying that, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. But I got. All right, so I got a question for you, right? Mm-hmm. So would you rather live in a world with like magic, like there's magic creatures, there's magic in the world, but it's like olden days, like you know, like like folklore type shit, mm-hmm. or would you rather live in a world that's like very advanced civilization, like the just the Jetsons, like futuristic shit? So, for me, I'm going to say... In my mind, I'm picturing... I don't know if you heard about the game Elden Ring. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm picturing Elden Ring. Yeah. In, in my mind. I've been playing that a lot. And I'm not going to lie. I think I'm going to go there because crime will be easier to get away with. Oh. In the future... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Yo. No, so look. So look, look. Back in the day, you could get away with crime easy. Yeah. So easy. Technology, futuristic. You do crime... It's like immediately cops. There's nothing. I mean, nothing. yeah. Like jaywalk. I'm saying like little petty filming. Everybody's taking something from the corner store by accident. Yeah, by yeah. By accident before. Yeah, you know yeah. What I'm I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Back, if I, and plus, if I have magic, like, wait, am I a random? Am I just, am I NPC in that world? I mean, you're a random, but like, you know, you can learn how to do oh, magic. Oh, so I can stuff. learn how to do magic. Yeah. I'm not an NPC. Okay, all right. So I'm not an NPC. So nah. <laughs> if, I'm, if, I'm, if I can learn how to do magic and like, you know, be cool, use a sword and all that, yeah. whatever, and all the cool stuff. And rituals, I think I'm gonna go there because like, that's so much co- like futuristic. It'll be cool to be in a flying car and like have a jetpack and whatever. Yeah. But like, it's like regular. It's gonna be regular. Think about yeah. it. In the world, like if you brought like a laptop back in the day, but like, oh, it'd be mad cute to ha- mad cool to have a um, a tablet that emits light and you can search the web. Yeah, you would think you're a god, but like that's regular as hell. Like that is regular. You're not even cool for that. Yeah, I'd be cool as hell if I could do like a spell and turn it to ice and like you know. What yeah, I'm saying? that's what I'm saying. I See, think I'm, I'm picking like the magic too, but not for your reason. You're sick. Oh, I just want to. I just want like a magic uh, pet. Am <laughs> I weird? Am I weird for what? Now nah, you're a square for that. I'm not gonna lie. You're square. <laughs> Yo. You're square. You're square. You're square. Square. Like like a Pokemon. You said I want to live in a world full of magic just so I can have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> just I just so want I like a Pikachu. A like some just some magic, something that magic creature, protect, like this cool with you, but like he can fly too. Yeah, he can protect me. You know what I'm saying? You can protect yourself. <laughs> like, you got magic, hey, that's tough. That's fine. I'm not like that's one of like the slept on perks of being back then. That's what I'm saying. It's like, why you could have did anything <laughs> else? Like I'm, I'm not gonna lie, you could have been like, I want to be able to have like. I'll create a gun out of... I don't You could have said anything, bro. Nah, bro. I want a pet. That's fine. You could have said, I'm going to create an army full of magicians and we're going to like take over the land. You said, I just want to... Yeah, but you're doing hella negative shit. I want shit. a magic penguin. Like, what the... <laughs> like, hey, bro. What? I just want some... I just want to... Compa- like, a, like a tough... Imagine I had a, a magic pet. He's just like flying around here. He you can talks. speak to him? Yeah, he talks. He's not your pet no more. That's his gang. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. Like he, you can't give like a pet. You can give orders. Like you tell your dog sit. Like you can get mad at your dog. Put him in timeout. But if he could talk, he's gonna be like what? And he could do magic. He might. I'm not gonna lie. He might beat the. Now <laughs> like, he's like, it's like hey, hey, Charlie, you pissed on the, on the on the floor. You're supposed to hit the mat. He's like, what, bro? So we do that. Like and then do some shit and then like make you like teleport somewhere crazy. Oh man, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, nah, that is kind of true. I it's cool lie. though, but like. It's a cool party trick, but pfft. hey, nah. I'm a simple man. I, I, that's all I need. Yeah, square. But I just oh, remember when I was talking about the the simulation shit? Mm-hmm. So I, you know how I be talking about conspiracy and shit like that, yeah. and people think I believe all this. There's yeah. also conspiracies I don't believe in. Okay. And the one of them is there's one about the simu about like the how the world is a simulation and shit like that. Yeah. So I have a question. Have you ever seen your neighbors bring in their Groceries, conspiracy busters, right here. Yes, I've seen it. Me too. Seen, yeah, the, Me too. <laughs> that's what I said. I've seen it. It's like literally, I see my name. But the like, what? But the reason why he said they said if you don't see it, it's because like 
you don't want to see it. Like, you don't, like, you don't have the, you don't, like, mentally want to see, like, who wants to see their neighbors putting their groceries? Oh, but they man. said if you did see your neighbors putting groceries, that means you, like, some point in your life, like, you interacted with them. And now they're a part of your, like, story or quote-unquote, like, simulation or game or life. Because, like, like, because, like, you know when you play a video so it's game. Like, so it's, like, the background. You know how, like, there's a boundary you can't cross? Yeah. In games? You're mm-hmm. saying, like, those, if you didn't interact with them, that's the boundary. You didn't. You yeah, yeah. They're, like just you don't ba- talk to they're just a backdrop. Yeah. But if you talk to them, now they're interactable. Yeah. They like, you know how they're in games. Yeah. Type shit. Yeah, okay. just like that. I'm not going like, to lie. My, I had these new neighbors, right, on, my, yeah. on the left side of my house. And I try to talk to them, and they'd be acting, like, mad, like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and it's weird because they're black, too. So, like, my old white neighbors, they're just like, all right, bucko, all right. We don't want to listen to trap music. Like, you know, but, like, yeah, yeah. they're black people. So I'm like, oh, hey, welcome to the block. You know, I'm black, too, because it's all white people in my block. And yeah, they're yeah. Like, they're, they're mad distant. I haven't seen them bringing groceries. Wow. But I've seen... The ones in front of me and the ones that are right of me, who I'm cool with, yeah, actually bringing groceries. That's what I'm saying. Like, like but, Gideon's next to me. Like, he went. To, we went to school together. Like, oh, I yeah. see him bringing go- groceries all the time. Gideon. Yeah, freaking. Yeah, because like, yeah, he's part of your your, your missions. Yeah, he's part yeah. Of your, <laughs> like, and then next door, I don't remember. I think I have, but like, I remember I talked to him one time. Yeah, and then I remember like there's Filipino people that live like across. Yeah, I think I seen them before, but like they talk to my parents a lot. Well, speaking of Filipino people, I they're definitely like gang for you because I was yeah. just talking to Russ about this uh, like I gotta bring this to the podcast that is the most like wow you're you, bringing know, it you know what I'm about to talk about bro oh, uh, go ahead for the, for the people that don't know bro who play basketball like you know play AAU and you know school basketball or just play at the park Um, I know like you know white people government <laughs> could be really racist but the most racist set of people that I know right now are Filipinos we're not because racist because <laughs> they have an entire basketball association where you can only join if your birth certificate says you're Filipino. That's a fact. That is the most racist, <laughs> yo. That is really a fact. Like, and it's crazy because Darius always played in it. I'm like, oh, wow, he's playing basketball. I'm like, oh, you're in the Philippines? I'm like, oh, that's cool. All right. He'd come back. He's like, oh, I got a tournament in Massachusetts. I'm like, oh, I, wait. I thought you were on my AU team. He's like, nah, this is something different. Yeah. Oh, can I play? No. Nah, you're not. <laughs> like, my mom, like, feel me, is my mom's side of the family. I'm like, but you're playing a team from Florida. It's only Filipinos, bro. It doesn't doesn't make any sense. Bro. I didn't make the rules. I mean, I'm half black. They be trying to kick me out. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like if, if you like yeah. if you have something and you fry, and they go and question you. Oh, cause you turn it up. Yeah, <laughs> like if, like if you ask, they're not gonna say nothing. Oh, if you, but if you like nice, they're gonna be like, nah, where's the birthday? So situation? basically, like they'll I'm stop not lie. the whole game. If you walk in with your dad, I'm like, oh yeah, that's a. That's they inti- black man. They're intimidated immediately. Like, it's, it's like, what is this? Nigga, dude, like, <laughs> what are you doing here? But then if you walk with your mom, be like, okay, yeah. Understandable. It's, yeah, like, bro, right, he's Filipino. Yo, Filipinos, bro, they love basketball, like, more than black people. It's, I'm not more. surprised, though, because Russ's dad, like, Russ's dad, like, every time I see him, he'd be, like, chopping it up, basketball. He'd be, he'd be getting shots up. You ever, you ever go get a cut and see his dad getting shots up? What, in the backyard? Yeah. No. OD. <laughs> <laughs> OD. Bro. Is that nice? Like, but that shit is crazy. It is. I mean, go a lot. Like, eight, like... I was talking to we was talking to AJ about it, mm-hmm. and he was just like, "Cause Filipinos, we love basketball so much, but like everybody's yeah. so much taller than us, <laughs> so it's like we had to make a whole league where it's like and fair." It's crazy, cause yeah, and I hate that because like it's like and also grind. <laughs> all Filipinos know like, like I remember I didn't believe Brandon was your cousin until like after high school. Why? Because I just like, bro, y'all just Filipino, bro. Y'all don't really, y'all not really, cause I wasn't buying it. But like, literally every Filipino like. The fact that, so it was just, the only Filipino we had on the team was Darius when I first came. Then Russ came, right? They knew each other because of high school and all that, right? Yeah. Then we got two more Filipino kids, right? Tim and AJ. Shout out to white team. Yeah. But Tim and AJ came, and they know him already. That's it's not a little I, so, Like, imagine I, if I knew every black kid. Imagine <laughs> you feel like, I'm like, right, oh, but, yeah, that's Jimmy. You know, that's Derek. All right, all right, but I knew him because, like. The Filipino League. Not, not, no, I didn't know AJ and Tim. I only oh. knew Russ. Because oh, I knew okay. AJ and Tim because my Filipino coach told me about him. That's the only reason why. Low key, the only, he's the only reason why we're there. Russ was like, oh yeah, I know. I mean, Russ was like, I played on a team with AJ. And he says he knows Tim from playing against him. I mean, time. no. Russ is well known in the Filipino community. Yeah, yeah Russ is. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to yeah, lie. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, Russ is Russ very is known. Russ is very known. <laughs> like, yeah, they yeah, know yeah, Russ. Yeah. <laughs> but like, 
Because <laughs> they know Russ. They, they send Russ to the Philippines to go play the Filipinos. I never he, went there. He's king Filipino. Yeah, he's he's a he's a king over there, bro. <laughs> he's about to go to Vegas to play in the league. Is he really? Yeah, playing the game. Yeah. Shit. Wait. What the hell? They didn't send me that tournament. They they hold me. <laughs> they like they <laughs> just, <laughs> hell no. They like, they just call my ass. Nah, you know why? Because this man is the blackest. He said, Darius Latrell Watkins. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, that is a black man. That is not. <laughs> bro, it'd be crazy. We bro. are not looking for that. Like, <laughs> like, it, like I'm not gonna lie. It is, you know, there's a six feet and under like league. Like, you can't be taller than six. I'm feet. I'm not gonna lie. No bigs. No bigs. No bigs. It's I'm probably just strong, strong dudes and guards. Yeah, just strong dudes, niggas with guts. If you got bounce, you probably the god over there. Hey, bro. Like I like I played. That's where I went to when I went to Massachusetts. I was in six feet and under league. I just barely made the cut. It's so sad. <laughs> because, like, your dad is, like, 6'6". Six, six. I like, know. I hate it, bro. Your dad is, like, mad tall. And he called me. He's like, nah, I need you to play. Like, they be, like they te- he texted me the other day, bro. He's you're really good. I need you. Like, he, he texted me the other day. He was like, oh, we have tournaments. He sent me the whole list. He's like, just let me know when you're free to play. You're going to join him? Huh? I mean, yeah, I'm going to play in a couple. Oh, I don't fire. know when. That's fire. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't got Six feet and under is crazy. I, I, I don't got to play. I don't got to pay, so. Oh, free. Free, free ski? You know, uh, free. Yeah. It's the, I just got to pay to get there. <laughs> pay to get there. But, free ski is hard. Like, bro. niggas, like, like I, I, when I was a kid, I remember they used to, I used to walk in. Because, you know me, I, I be, like, I'm an angry nigga when I play basketball. Mm-hmm. They, like, they walk in, it's like intimidation. Like, they look at me, they just want to. Why is he mad? No, it's like, calm down. It'd be bad, bro. Uh, it'd be bad. Calm down, Jamal. And he'd be like, they'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> they'd be like, they'd be like, they'd be trying to tell me what to do. Like I hate that. They'd be like, like do hope, this. Bro. Like, like they'd be like, go, like go, go, monkey, go, like shit, like that. Like I'm like, what the fuck, like relax. Like, just half black. <laughs> like they'd be like, they'd be like, you gotta, you gotta go like this. Go to, go hard to the rim. But it's like, dude, touch, dude, jump, jump, <laughs> jump, <laughs> jump. <laughs> like they start wilding on you. That's how deep. Low key, they be. That's how they but, be. Oh, that's your dad. You can jump. Come on, bro. Like, yo, come on, get up there. Like bro. they, like I'm not gonna lie. Filipinos love their basketball, bro. Nah, that's and they're sick. very like passionate about I'm not it. Gonna, yeah, it's very sick, and it, it bothers me. Damn. Like I don't like it, it. Just gets so hectic, bro, and they just start going they crazy. Because so, I thought about it, like, like Joel, right? Yeah, he plays for his church all the time, right? Yeah, and he plays like little baby AU tournaments and whatnot. Yeah, but his like I was like, oh, I'm trying to hoop. He's like. I go lie, bro. Like, my church is mad Indian. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what? He's like, mad Indian, bro. Like, you can't pull up. Now, he just said you can't come. I'm like, what do you mean? Now I'm like, I'm like, I just want to hoop at you. He's like, yeah, you could hoop. Like, if he was Indian. Like, wow. And then like, this is also I was like looking for a church like way back when. Yeah. I asked Marv. I'm like, yo, Mark, is he religious? I'm like, yeah. Trying to come to church. He's like, you're not African, bro. I'm like, I mean, we both black. He's like, bro, you're not African, bro. That's you really can't. how it is, bro. He said you can't come to my church. I'm like. Type of re- I just want to follow God. <laughs> I just believe in the Lord. I want to go worship the Lord. He's like, it's too bad. Ask Keisha. She's like, ah, so here's the thing. Everybody at my church is Haitian. I know. And you're from America. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, ah. It's very, cool. very racist, bro. A lot of racism. But if a white person did that shit, it's, it's, like, it's up. Oh, you can't come because you're not white. It's over. It's really it's up. So think about it. B-E-T. Black entertainment. <laughs> bro, that is... <laughs> Like, imagine there was a oh, WET, white entertainment. I guess, bro. That's OD. That's crazy. Shut down. Hey, days. bro, but we deserve we deserve, we deserve this shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? OD. We've been through a lot. We've been through a lot. Yeah. <laughs> all right, but, all right, bro. I got I got situations, man. Okay. So, I have, like, these little made-up worlds and shit like that. So, remember last time I was asking you, like, like which made-up world would you want to be in if you was a regular person? Now you're an NPC. So you you're not you're not none of these niggas. Okay, NPC right now, but go ahead. I know we're we're both NPCs right now. That we like these okay. shits could be happening right now. On the bench. It's crazy. <laughs> but <laughs> but so ahead. it's like it's these worlds. Can you survive in these worlds? Okay. And there's actually a time like I seen this on the end. There's like a limit of like how long a human being will live in there. Mm. So the first one is the X Men universe with all the mutants in there. I'm an NPC in X Men universe. A, you're an NPC. You don't got no powers. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was thinking about this. If I was in the X Men universe, this war uh, is it like? Is it like what's like in the movies? How like they're like you know yeah. that's all mutants and they're fighting them. Yeah. Um, I'll make it to like thirty five, thirty. Oh, so you're gonna be there? Damn, so you stay there years? Yeah, like, oh, I get to choose how long I can stay. Yeah, there? how long you think? Oh, 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 if I get dropped there, oh, I, max. Five months. 
Wow, that's I'm gonna actually. Get, I'm gonna get mad jealous. I'm gonna get mad jealous. You know what's crazy? What? Because that's the time. It said five months. Oh, somebody can stay there it, and leave. That's how long a human being will last. Yeah, five months. Wow, that's fire. You you got to ride the yeah, dot. Yeah. <laughs> you crazy? Like no cap, because I'm gonna get. I'm a. It's gonna be cool. Like, hey, look at these. Wow, he has blades from his hands and he can shoot lasers out of his eyes. Then I'm gonna get fed up. Like, why can't I do that? Like, I want the <laughs> Yeah. And then I'm gonna, like, I'm probably gonna. Get jealous and turn into one of the, like that to all mutant people. Oh, and then like I'm like yeah, you kill might him. Fuck, you might fuck around and die and shit. Yeah, or like I'll be like yo, can I join your band? Like can I be a part of y'all? And they're yeah. gonna be like, what's your powers? I'm like, I'm six eight. <laughs> and they're gonna they're gonna be like, we got a you know ten foot tall guy. Yeah, we don't need you. Made of steel. Then I'm gonna get tight and you know become the villain. And wow. probably die though because they have powers. Yeah. yeah, I think the same thing too. I don't I don't think I'm lasting more than like a couple months. Yeah, I think five. That's months crazy. Nice. Yeah. All right. How about Gotham? Gotham, like last until I die, or last in like how long? Like how long? I mean, you could like. Do you think you can like survive like a normal life in Gotham? Does um, Gotham get crazy? I'm not gonna lie to you, Gotham. Yo, I, ha- I'm not gonna lie, Gotham. Like that shit is bad. I might survive Gotham for a week <laughs> because, or may- e- either is it's like no medium ground. So yeah, there's no a week medium. or two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, first of all, Gotham is so, like, think about it, bro. They have, like, any crime, you're getting beat the fuck up. Exactly. Like, any crime, like, you go here and jaywalk, and then all you, see, all you see is a, like, <laughs> like, the shadow fly over you, and you're like, what the heck? And then you see a battering hit you in the, in the head. Like, yeah. no, nah, look at you, bro. You're on the ground, because you jaywalk. You... You rob a, conven- a whole bunch of kids, you rob a convenience store, and you see Robin over here beating your ass. Exactly. You see another kid beating your like. Nah, how do I feel? <laughs> then, there's, then there's a freaking clown running around the streets blowing shit up. Freaking the cops are all bad. A, a nigga named the Riddler. like The Riddler freaking... Bro. There's, you got all then, the mobsters there's, everywhere. Yo, there's literally no like programs either. Like There's no like boys and girls... Like, the boys and girls club gets blown up. Like, That's facts. That's there's facts. no like welfare. So like <laughs> it's either... And in Gotham, like if you've seen the movies and the shows, yeah. you're either poor as hell... Or you're rich as hell. Or you're rich as hell. Exactly. And I'm going to be poor as hell. Yeah, I know. So (laughs) I'm over there in the slums. Like, I might end up having to do something stupid. Yeah. And then all I'm here is, I am vengeance. And it's over. Facts. And Batman is so like, I'm not going to lie. Say, if Batman ran into our group, he might cry though. Why? Like, if he, I'm not going to lie. He just has to run into me and UJ for real. I'm not going to lie to you. (laughs) Because we're frying him, bro. Actually, UJ loves that man. UJ loves him. You're going to beat Batman? No, not beating his ass. He'll beat us the fuck up. Oh, like you mean fry him? Fry him. Like, he's before he gets it. I'm like, yo, you were in a bat costume, bro. <laughs> like for real. Like you literally got mad and put on a bat, a, a bat hat and a cape. That is facts. That is and facts. He does look kind of crazy. People up because of what? Because you got mad breach and your parents died. Like that's so dumb. <laughs> like that's like, come on, bro. Like grow up, grow. Up. He's being a kid. Oh, like, no. <laughs> niggas said, kid. grow up. <laughs> Grow up, bro. Like, like you don't just get to beat people up. That's like, a fact. I ain't gonna lie. Dude. He's a vigilante. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Uh, but I think I'm only surviving a year too. Like a at year? least a year. They said they said only twenty days. I was just about to say like I might make it a month. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna get fed up and be like, like I'm a Batman. No help. He got mad money. Exactly. Bruce Wayne got mad money. Donate. Donate to us. Like we broke now, nah, bro. It's over. Wildin'. All right, how about uh, Transformers? Hmm. Like with all the robots and shit. Two months. Yeah, I was thinking. Two months. I was thinking a month. I was thinking a month. Actually, because think about month. it. Think Depends about it. how I. They could disguise it I'm as going your. Going on my regular day. Yeah, like right now. Half a month. Half like a. Uh, Fifteen days. 20. It says it says twelve. Twelve days. Yeah. Yeah. Fifteen days. You you on the money with these? I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> because fifteen days, bro. I'm gonna be talking shit about Decepticon, and the TV's gonna be like, "What you say?" And beat my <laughs> ass. Like, That's fair. And they're like mad sharp. They have mad. They have guns out of there. Like, what am I gonna Bullet, do? They bulletproof. They're literally metal. Then they can just and it, say I'm beating their ass. They can just run away. Like just turn to a jet and fly away. I know. I know. There's no. Yeah, I think it'd be deed for us. That's not. That's that's gonna be a. That's not gonna be too long. I would bro. never go there. I'm good all off right. of that. All right. How about the universe with Godzilla and King Kong living, with all them the big titans? I mean that city. You're in the the world, so like you know how like in King oh, Kong. Oh, this everywhere. There's like a bunch of big titans and shit. Yeah. So I'll survive if it happens. Like say I don't know where we're in Newark and the shit just happened. Yeah. I will survive. Forty eight hours, max. 
if they're fighting in my city. But, you know, just like, oh, it could randomly come here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like Godzilla um, randomly pull up off the shore in the Hudson. Ten days. Now, I randomly? Like, he just get two mad. Two weeks, he three weeks. In, yeah. Three weeks-ish. Low key. It says 18 hours. Like, we don't even you know survive a whole day. You know what's crazy? What? I was going to say, like, three hours. <laughs> if they were fighting in, in my city. Yeah. But I'm like, I got the bag. So, you know, the, the apocalypse <laughs> yeah, bag? Yeah, I was thinking about that. So, I'll be about. a little safer, you feel me? Yeah. But if they're fighting in my city, it's deep. But like, like, they just step on you, it's over. Like, they just knock a... Bu- he's walking, knocking buildings over. Like, get off me. Exactly. Like, it's over. Like, <laughs> like he's not, no, he not even trying to kill you. It's all an accident. There. Exactly. Thank <laughs> God, so he's supposed to be the hero. <laughs> facts, facts. All right, and the last one is a nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, I didn't see the movie with Freddy. Is that one with Freddy? Mm-hmm. I didn't see the movie, but I saw a lot of clips of it. Mm-hmm. Not gonna lie to you, you literally can't sleep, or you die. Wait, if you s- he goes into your dreams and kills you. Yeah, explain that to me. So I'm over here thinking. Wait, 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 wait. I think you I know Freddy Scissorhands. Yeah, like he comes so in you, and your if dreams. If you fall asleep, you have a nightmare and he just kills you. Yeah. Like he would cook, like he, I think he either because I was one with Michael Myers. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I think he goes into your dreams and like controls you and then like either makes you kill yourself or like makes you go nothing until you die, or he just physically kills um, you. I'm not gonna lie to you. Can you kill him? I don't know. I never watched the movie either. I don't think anybody killed him. The one with Michael Myers, I thought you could kill. Like you saw the clip of them beating. Him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like they like start shooting him and all that. I'm it like, didn't work. It didn't work. So it's deep. That uh, boy got stamina, but um. I'll make it one day. No, two days. Cause I won't go to sleep the first day. Second day, I'm croaking. Oh. <laughs> Wait, can you take a nap in the middle of the day? Any any form of sleep, you're dead. Oh, indeed. Yeah, I was gonna say like a day. Forty eight hours. I'm I'm Max. just gonna I'm just gonna sleep. Yeah. I'm just gonna like. Oh, just, you take the L. Yeah, just take the L. I don't <laughs> give a fuck. I'm not gonna stop. Like you need sleep, bro. You need like, sleep. You want me to be good in life and then not? Yeah. Like mentally, you need sleep, bro. So what did they say for that one? It said seventeen hours. Nah, I could vamp a little longer. You think, yeah, I, got I haven't heard that word in years. You're, yeah. I'm you're weird, weird for that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. let me get one? Oh, yeah, turn it on. <laughs> like, yeah, we got snacks here, people. Yeah. That's funny. Like, I heard, like, it was like a whole list of, like, different, like, shows. Like, I don't know. Do you watch anime? Um, I, I like used it. to watch Naruto and Avatar. That's the closest thing you get. Oh, yeah. My parents never wanted me to watch any anime because they thought it was the devil. Really? Not my parents. Let me take that back. My mom and my family trade Because remember, I used to live in Trinidad a little bit. Yeah. They, um, every time I like, oh, Pokemon, anything like that, that is the devil. Nope. Really? Anytime I, Naruto, the devil. I used to sneak Avatar because that shit was lit. And then, but like, they'd be like, you're watching the devil. I mean, do you, did you celebrate Halloween? No. Okay. But I used to go trick or treating. But you didn't dress up? No. I okay. I so at first I was like kind of upset. So I did Halloween like twice because of my dad. Yeah. And, and then after that, like my grandma, <clears throat> my dad listens to my grandma, so it was like that's the devil. Yeah. So then I stopped, and then my mom didn't like it either. Mm. Just as Batman, crazy, right? <laughs> and then um, I never did it. I used to go trick or treat. Like I literally go trick or treating like with Jose and all of them. Like, yeah. Dressed normal. Like trick or treat. Oh, what are you? Kid, give me some candy. <laughs> like, yeah. like kid. <laughs> come on, turn it up. Oh, yeah, okay. that was it, bro. Okay, because like I know, I know. Did you? Yeah, yeah. I, I dressed up in stuff like that. Oh, what a loser. You know, nah. There was a. I remember fifth grade. You know, Chowder. Remember Chowder? Yeah. I dressed up as Chowder in fifth grade, and somebody looked at me what and was, was like, it? "He's like, what the fuck are you supposed to be?" I was like, "Clowns your whole fit." Clown my whole fit. Like my mom made it like from scratch because oh. like. Cloud my whole fit. But I my was, mom made it. I I was so hurt. He was like, "What the fuck are you supposed to be?" I would never forget it. I you I know who, who said yeah, it. Yeah, I know who it was. Who was it? I don't know if you know. His name was Michael Beckett. Justin. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a. It's like a little Spanish kid. Nah, no Spanish kid. Yeah, from Burnett. Nah. I would never forget that day. He literally looked at me and said, "What are you Paul, supposed to be?" This is high school. No, this is fifth grade. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I'm like. You just dress up in high school? You're a loser. What? But, <laughs> that's what I was about to say. I was like, you're a loser. Yeah, all right. Because I never saw you dress up in high school. <laughs> I'm like, if you were hiding, <laughs> hiding and dressing up in high school is crazy. I mean, like, like niggas had, like, like the, the calm, like, costumes. Like, I was yeah, LaMelo Ball. Yeah, something cool. That's yeah. that's cool. That's a cool costume. Yeah. 
But if you have like a whole filming, like nah, nah, you're dressed up as an actual thing. Oh, who is that? Oh wow. Oh guys, I just seen him today too. And he got mad. He texted me. Should I pick up? Yeah. Nah, cause I, I got I, I literally just seen him today and he got mad at me because he was like he said like, you had Tyrone and Chimo but I still get an interview and if he sees you again oh my god <laughs> nah cause remember when I talked to him I said I'll talk to you tomorrow yeah I haven't called him since that day wow oh, I was god. supposed to and I have his present but I still haven't dropped it off oh I just dropped off his present yeah I still haven't done it so wow that's tough cause he's, he's definitely gonna be like oh he said he said my wedding present is going down <laughs> cause like I told him yeah. me and Jay get a wedding uh, getting uh, married at 25 yeah. So he was he like, so he's good. Going. He said it's gonna get dropped by a hundred dollars every time you do me yeah. wrong. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> but, so. but, what was that going with again? With the oh, costume. but yeah, with the costume. Like I remember me, Ish, and Jordan. We was all like the ball brothers. Wait, in high school? Yeah, but like we didn't bring Meat it to Rider, school. Oh my god! <laughs> it was two thousand sixteen. Wait, you, Ish, and Jordan? Yeah, you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> we was the ball brothers. I was Lamelo. Jordan was loud. But you know you're the same age as that 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 young man, right? I know. That was crazy. It was crazy. You're a fan. <laughs> oh my god. But it was when he went to UCLA though. Oh damn, maybe I was in college. No. You're older than LaMelo. I know, it was crazy. He was in high school. I wasn't LaMelo. You could have played him. <laughs> you actually could have played him in an AAU tournament or in a regular high school game. I know. If we won states and Philly wasn't there. But they was tough. You know the that's time, meat bro. ride. I it was. That's it is. mad meat ride. <laughs> Imagine now you dressing up as like Randy Walker. <laughs> like that is some meat ride. I hey, bro. You won't you won't dress up as Quincy Rutherford. So I- Batman. <laughs> <laughs> you got nah, me. Hey. You're wildin'. That's OD. Hey, meat bro. ride to the mat. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. I can't let that go. But go ahead. Hey, bro. That's tough. All right. What else I got talked about? Oh, so. I want to talk about this because this is some crazy shit. You know there was a guy that invented like a car to run on water? Yeah. You heard about that I heard guy? about that. You know who told me about that too? Who? Shout out to my mans from my dead man, Mr. Rico. Uh, and um, Dr. Siebert. Yeah. It's crazy because Mr. Rico's dead. But yeah. He was saying like they made a law about running cars on water. Yeah. And what they did was... They no, not, not running cars on water. A mm. car that runs off of water. Like No, yeah, yeah, like that's the fuel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like anybody who... Because now, Loki, like if you're an engineer or like scientist who knows how to do stuff in yeah. general, you could probably do it. Yeah, you could probably do it. And like steam powered, just normal like that. Because I have steam powered mm-hmm. engines for trains. They yeah. For a car. Like it's like a law you can't make it. Because like you know why... Because you know the, the economy is just going to drop because niggas don't need get oil. They're not going to buy oil. You don't need then oil. Then there's no point to go to Afghanistan. Ex- exactly. <laughs> nah, that's so like they said, like, you know, you know, he died, right? The guy? Because like this is what when happened. He, do you know when he made it? Like when? It, it was, was in like, the 50s. Damn. I think 50s or 70s, something like early. that. Exactly. Like, really we exactly. would have been like, imagine, but like. Free. Like he, lo- like he, um, so like the big oil companies was like offering him to buy him like his invention because it was going to destroy it. But he was like, nah, I want to, like, I want to. Bring this out to the public, so That's like, true. cause like it's a lot efficient. Like you know, there's hell of water in the world. Like mm-hmm. we don't need to pay for gas no more. Yeah, like it's so much cheaper for the people. Water? Oh my god! Exactly, but then and it'll go back into the environment. It would, yes, it's, like it's just steam. It's not gonna kill us. Instead, it's just, let's destroy the ozone layer. Exactly. Crazy, but, but he said, they said he he supposedly like like died, like in a weird way. Like like he got like it's like he got po- poison or some shit, and then. His lab got like destroyed, and all like the car, everything he used to make it was all like taken away. Just like it was gone. Like somebody it was just like nobody somebody made it. Stole. Somebody stole. Yeah, literally somebody stole it. Uh, definitely oil companies because they lose mad bread. Hell yeah, you know I think the oil companies are like the biggest companies like in the world. Yeah, low key. Like the biggest scare, like the companies that would do like crazy shit. Think about it. everything needs oil though. Yeah. Like machines and factories need oil. Mm-hmm. Cars need oil. Like all that. Damn. Like, they're, and they're the ones that could do, like, the craziest shit. Like, take a nigga out if they need to. I'm not gonna lie. Especially back then. Hell yeah, it was in the 50s. Nobody know. It was, like, 50, either 50s or 70s or some shit like that. And I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. That would be so good for the environment. And they could do it, but I think they made some, like, underground law, like, nobody could do it. Mm-hmm. And if they do, because, like, I'm not gonna lie, if they did that now, I would invest in, a, in that car. Hell yeah. What the hell? That's way better than the Tesla. Yeah, it's like, electric. I, sh- Save a like, damn. They imagine bro. they just they care free? about the money, bro. They don't care free. about how we are, how the world is gonna be. They just care about the bread, bro. That's crazy. That's OD. Like, 
Imagine imagine we had water powered cars now, bro. Literally almost I think everybody would probably have a car. Well, even if they made it mad expensive. Like you know how Teslas are expensive because they're electric powered, mm -hmm. low key cheaper to make. But Exactly. I even they made it expensive, it'd be so much better to invest in that. Like say like you buy like a brand new car. Yeah. I take a I take a like a car payment out on a water powered car because damn, I don't got no water today for gas. I'm go to the faucet. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Or like put the holes on or some shit like that. And then literally like you can just then they, they can make like reservoirs from the ocean, mm -hmm. bring salt water in. When it rains, all right, let's Yeah. And it would rain a little bit more often cause because the moisture the, in the air, mm -hmm. but then it'll go right back to the cars. Wow. Not they not, lie, they not. We dumb, bro. We not thinking. I got for a real. question, bro. What's up? Say you work for FBI, because I'm gonna work for FBI, so I know my answer. Say you work for FBI, right? And they're like, Oh right, yeah, we found um somebody Trying to make a water power car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to go destroy that shit. Like he's about to. If if you don't kill or if you don't grab him today and bring him to us, so we can kill him or whatever. Yeah, he's gonna release this to the public, and we need that stopped right now. Right now, yeah. you're gonna make like you know a mill type shit for, oh, it, for this contract. Wow, you just gotta grab him up. You don't even gotta kill him. Just like the government wants, to, because we're trying to protect, you know, the economy. If that gets out. Obviously, the world will be better, but the economy is going to go super down yeah. all over the world, and that's going to fuck us up. This contract will give you a million dollars. Easy contract. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> I don't think I would do it, because like, if, even if I do it, even if I do it, I feel like he's going to convince me like to not do it, because you know, I'm a nice guy. I'm yeah, not, convincible? I yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Before you do this, like, you know. <laughs> like, like, I feel like I feel like if we had those cars, and it's, even though it's going to mess up the economy, I feel like we could figure out something. To like at yeah, least I make feel it like, better. Yeah, I feel like it would be able to come back, but um, put tax on I'm not gonna lie, that man goes to jail under me. So you're sending him, you're getting yeah, him he's tied? Going to jail, bro. <laughs> You'll be a good fed, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you'll be a good that man fed. goes to jail, you'll bro. You'll be great me, at your job under me that, because, like, all right, good money for that contract, and then for me, that's not my problem. Like, I'm doing wow. my job, gang. Like, <laughs> wow, I don't know, bro. You was right. really born to do this, shit. yeah, like, hey, he doesn't. So would you rather you would you rather like work for the CIA or the FBI or it doesn't matter? FBI because I'm in country, but CIA is outside the country. Mm -hmm. Or you have to go out. Like I you, mean, both of them go in and out. But yeah, CIA deals with international problems more. Oh yeah, 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 and yeah. The FBI deals with inside the country more. Now they both leave and go in and out, mm -hmm. but hey, you won't really see FBI. So, I feel like plus, the CIA you don't. They can't talk about shit. Yeah, like, plus, if I'm in the CIA, like, I could be in Cambodia and, like, not get saved and die. Yeah, like, that's true. Like, you like if I'm, have no if name. I'm here and, like, I get in trouble, like, I'm home. Like, I'm in the States type shit. Right? I feel you. I feel you. That makes sense. I would work for... I would work for... Honestly, I would work for any um, U.S. agency. Anything? Secret Service, CIA, FBI, EPA, anything. Mm. No matter what it is, I, uh, for me. I, feel I just you. won't be a city cop, though. That's the last thing I'm doing. Why? They don't make enough breach. Mm, I guess. They should make more breach. Shout out to the city cops. But yeah, yeah. They don't make enough breach. I'll be a state cop, though. Like, state trooper? You know what my backup plan is? What? <laughs> what is your To backup? be military police. So, you know what military police does? So, you're a double fed. Super. Super fed. So, wait. What do you do? So, what's that? But So, in the military, like, on bases and stuff, they have, like, police. Yeah. And even out in... Places they have like pol people to police. So you're the base. policing the police because like there's a, there's dorms on military bases. Like, yeah, the dorms. yeah. This you know uh do you do you know Min? He used to do photography for the school. Uh, the Asian dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember. He's military police for the Marines. Oh really? So there's military police that go out there and they, like when they're on the base, they police it. They're at the front gates. Yeah, yeah. That's what I would do. Oh, oh. really? That's, yeah, that's what I would. Do. I thought they were just normal soldiers. I didn't know it was actually. I mean, they are soldiers too. Oh, but they're police. But they're like that's their special. Like, that's what they're doing. Oh, they're military oh. police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Every, every person has their specialization. Right? I thought he was gonna say some other shit. Yeah, I mean, that's like you're the fed of the feds. That's what I'm saying. You be, like that's double fed. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I that's never knew there was a thing of double fed. Double federary, fed. <laughs> federation. I don't yeah. fucking know. But I, I was saying the CIA because like you know there was documents that they said that um manifestation is like real. Like you know really? when you you know when you man you know you know what manifestation is right yeah when you manifest something like you think of something mm -hmm. they said if you like like say you think of something like you believe it and you just let it be it's gonna like go no. into the universe it's gonna come true 
But like, it's not gonna. Wait, com- did documents proving it? Yeah, it's documented. Like they did. They did tests on it. And it's like something in your brain just. I don't know what it is. It's like some hella sciencey shit. People, I don't know this shit. But I feel like you gotta believe it though. Yeah, you do gotta believe it, but you can't be like. You have to believe it and just let it be and just let it happen. Let the universe sense it. Let it happen. But like they said, if you like believe it, but you like too like into it and you just like stress about it and like always on it and shit like that and always thinking about it, then it's not gonna come true. So like if you believe it, but then you're like, oh my god, it might not happen if I don't do it. Like you're worrying about yeah, it. Yeah, like if you happen. yeah if you're expecting it to happen. Oh okay okay. So, so I'm not going to the vet. So I'm not gonna, yeah. no no it, so okay look if you man if you think about it manifest and and but not. Because stress is like negative energy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you don't... Okay, so it's yeah, like... Yeah. And you just like... And you don't make it like your main thing. Right, right, right. Like right, not... Right, right. Re- revolve your whole day around that shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I was thinking about my life. Because like... Like when I was... Like when I was young, right? Like I wanted... I always wanted like... I always say my life is like a movie. I ain't gonna lie. It is. <laughs> like, like I got a podcast and shit like that. Shit, I got a girl in my dreams. You know what I'm saying? And I was thinking when I was a kid, I was like... I used to watch a lot of the little... Like the love. <laughs> 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 like she laughing over there. Look. Like I remember I was watching the you know the little the the B T movies. Mm-hmm. I used to want my life to be like that. I used to be like, nah, I'm gonna be like that. You low key living that right I'm now. I'm living it right now, bro. That's hard. And then with the podcast and shit like that, like I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I had a feeling like I was gonna do something with my friends mm-hmm. that's gonna be like a lot of people are gonna like it. Like it's not gonna be like a normal job. I didn't that's know so. what it was gonna be, but I always knew it was gonna be something like that. Cause like I just knew how I was. Yeah. And like how I like work at shit. And now, like, I'm seeing, like, all this happening and shit like and that. And now everything's coming together. Yeah, so I'm like... The reason why I believe it, too, yeah. is because, um... What was it? When you... I was in some class, and one of my science teachers was telling me about it. Um, they were doing an experiment on something. I think it was chemistry or something. They were talking yeah. about it. It was off topic of class, but... When you... They are doing an experiment, and when particles or... Well, yeah, when electrons are observed, they react differently than when they're not observed. So they put... A certain experiment, yeah, something with a le- like atoms working around each other, yeah, in a closed room with no eyes, no cameras, nothing, mm-hmm. and they reacted different. They bonded differently. Oh, created different elements. They did different things than when people were watching them, and like, oh well, obviously, you know, sodium and chlorine they make salt. We know that's gonna happen. Not that to be specific, but when they go together and somebody's watching it, then they react differently and they become salt. Whereas uh-huh. if they're in a different room, it becomes something different. Not those specifically, but yeah, just yeah, in general. Yeah. So really? like that's why yeah. So when when atoms and electrons are being observed, they react they react differently. That's if you look it up, that's a real thing. Like they react different like re- they react differently under observation. That's that's so tough. If I, I was like a, a chem major or whatever and I went really high. Yeah, and, yeah. Like that would be like an actual thing I have to worry about. Like being like an experiment being observed will react differently. So is that like when like they so put, that's why I feel like manifestation like that's a real thing. So is that like when you do chemistry like a lot of people like put a test tube and then you just like leave it. Yeah, so let it sit. I mean that might be a little bit behind it. I really couldn't tell, but mm-hmm. I know like it, it have to be something like super like crazy, like a long experiment. Couldn't it just be like all right, if I mix water with this, it's gonna make steam, and if I don't look at it, it won't make steam. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Not yeah. something like that, but like not something super definitive, but like. Something where it's like, all right, a whole bunch of things are reacting and mm-hmm. it could, and there's a probability of this and probability of this. Yeah. If somebody's watching it, it's probably going to end up this way. That's why I feel like when you actually, like certain things like that, when they say like, if a tree falls, does it make noise? Yeah. Like in a forest, if nobody's around, does it make noise? Something like that. I feel like certain things like that are true. Mm-hmm. Like, because it really be, if you really think about it, like I'm really believe, like I'm, t- like, I'm telling you, bro. When I know I'm going to win in poker, like this, exactly. <laughs> Exhibit A, I gamble a lot. Yeah. When I play poker, roll dice, like the only reason I was good at dice in the high school is because I believed, like me and Kai specifically. Right? Yeah. And shout out to my boy Kai. Another reason why I believe Kai is like really good at playing, like gambling, like poker, or rolling dice is because he is like cocky some, like when he does it. Yeah. But... Because he believes he's gonna win, okay. so he's like, I'm, I'm, I'm better than you at dice. Dice, there's no skill to it. Yeah. You roll the dice and it's random. But when I used to roll at high school, I'm like, oh, he's new. You don't know how to play. It doesn't matter. All you gotta do is drop the dice. Exactly. You could win or lose. But then the person who's new is like a little nervous. Like, damn, I might win. I might lose. Fine, let's put five dollars on it. And I'm yeah. over here like my five. Roll it. Give me that. Wow. 
that's why it happens. That's mm-hmm. why it's like, all right, if you don't know how to play, don't play. You feel me? Like, oh, I don't want you with me if you don't know how to play type yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. But it's all probability. Mm-hmm. So, like, dice, like, you're throwing, you're watching it. It might turn a different way because of what you think. It's the same thing with, like, for me, poker, like, while they're shuffling, the most confident person at that table is going to win. That's true. That's true. And, like, whenever that it, is just, true. it just happens, like, you have the best hand just because. Yeah. That, that's why I really feel like, again, like, blackjack. When I go to the, when I go to the casino, first time I went to the casino, I went and I was just like nervous, lost lost the bread. Like my dad gave me bread and lost it all. <laughs> no, no shot. Then me and my girl went to slots. Yeah. She's over here like, no, 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 babe, we're gonna hit. I promise. I'm like, all right, you do this, I'm gonna stand over here. The moment I went to a different slot, she like we're next to each other, she starts hitting. I'm like, damn, you really believe it. That's <laughs> you feel crazy. me? That's what I'm saying. I really feel like like observation really uh, this is a law for that. Laws of observation, something. A law of observation. I don't know, something like that. Mm. But it all matters though. That's tough. That's tough. So people if you want to do something in life, you, guess, yeah. you just got to believe in your mind, bro. It's always going to come true. Yeah. I don't think I believed in me going to the NBA. Maybe maybe I believed in it too much, and that's why it didn't come true. Like, I used to stress about OD. I'm not going to lie. I never knew. I, I never thought I was going to the NBA. <laughs> like, out of everybody we grew up with, I should have thought that. I'm 6'8". You know I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're the tallest nigga I fucking know. I was like, nah. I don't want to go too hard. Not, not too hard, but like... <laughs> too slim of a chance. I, yeah. mean, I wasn't even good when we were younger. I didn't. I, I never wanted to go. I was like, no, wow. it's deed. I'm not doing it. But I was like, definitely going to play basketball in college. So, all right, that's fine. Yeah. But well, since you brought that up, I meant to ask you the question. Like I asked Jim the last episode. Mm-hmm. When did you realize, like you know, hoop dreams? When did mm-hmm. you realize that them shits was never coming true? Like what age or what year in high school? Now there was a time where I'm like, I'm definitely going overseas. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely going to be And there was a time in my mind where I was like, I can make it to the NFL. Yeah. I was like, remember, I was a football nigga, so I was like, I can make it to the NFL. You did say that. <sighs> NFL dreams died the moment, I remember it was it was summer camp. No, the season had just ended for football. Yeah. And we were transferring to basketball. Remember my sophomore year, I played football and basketball. Yeah, yeah, I remember. And I remember Coach Melody. Mm-hmm. Was calling all the people who were good or who were had a chance to play next year to the field to do individual workouts with them. All the rest of the scrubs stay upstairs, lift, and go home. Wow. Melody didn't call my name. Wait, are those the niggas that be doing like the shit on the field with like the? Yeah. So like, That's no, but it was just up. it was just a skill position because there's like mad kids want to play football. There's no yeah. tryouts. Everybody makes a team, but like, you're not all going to be there. You know what I'm saying? You're not all going to uh-huh. be practicing. You're just going to get pads. So, I remember Melody Grasso would call my name and be like. Tyrone, Chuck, whatever. He'd say everybody's name. Yeah. And go down. Then when it's time, he'd be like, he'd have everybody in the room. He'd be like, if I don't call your name, don't come down. That's why I feel like Melody didn't like me at a point. The okay. quarterback Melody. And I'm like, all right. And he stopped calling my name. And I remember they went down and I was just sitting in the locker room by myself. The coach's office is right next to the, the varsity locker room, right yeah. next to the coach's office. I'm sitting there with my gloves in my hand, looking down, sad as shit. And I was like, damn. Like, remember, I made varsity as a sophomore. Feel me? Yeah. I got PT as a sophomore. I'm like, Grasso walked, he's like, what are you doing up here? He's like, go down to the field already. I walked down to the field, and Melody's like, he's like, did Grasso send you down to him? He's like, all right, fine. He ain't give me no reps. Wow. He was like, wait, he, so is it like skill work, or are they doing like lifting? Like, you know what they do, like mm, the little... No, nah, not farmer day. Not farmer oh, okay, day. Yeah, okay. That's okay. on Thursdays. Now, nah. that was skill work, like running routes. The Beck is throwing the ball. Hansy's throwing the ball. Yeah. Instead, he didn't give me no reps. The time would just wait. Nah, I just wait. Then the second day, Melody was call me, and if Grasso wasn't there, I wasn't going down. I'm like, I'm never gonna play. And plus, that was the same time, um, that like Kevin Wilson, all them dudes, like, yeah, they were jealous and shit. So they would always like hit on me. So I was like, they don't even want me to play. I'm out. Feel oh, me? is that what? So getting bullied and shit. I'm like, I'm out. I'm gonna go play basketball. <laughs> and I was to go play basketball. But then that that moment, I remember sitting in the field house, looking at my gloves, and I'm like, bro, I can't play football no more. That's <laughs> in my mouth, like, dance over like. It's done, and I then I stopped playing football, and okay. went to and went to basketball, and that's okay. when I only played basketball type shit. Basketball, my hoop dreams ended probably. Yeah, when them shits ended, bro. I know when my shits ended. End of fresh no, middle of sophomore year. What <laughs> that you wasn't going to the league? That I wasn't going overseas, like to play, <laughs> like that. It was, it was I'm not playing professional ball <laughs> because not because I'm like oh I just I'm not good enough because yeah. I'm like. Basketball ain't worth like yeah yeah it's facts. I'm it's like facts. no disrespect to my guy. Mm-hmm. I'm like Jamont, you feel me? Like 
he plays overseas, Nadir plays overseas, but I'm like, damn, when they come out and like what I want to do, I'm going to be able to come out and play overseas and come back. Yeah. And then... It's not worth going to a whole other country learning a language. It's not worth... Yeah, exactly. And I'm like... Bring just, your whole family it's over It's not like they're making millions. Yeah. So... That's what I'm saying. And then at that point, I was like... Having... Nah. With having a coach yell at you? Yeah, bro. I'm not... I'm cool. In another language? And it's hard. It's so hard to make it overseas. Like... Yeah. It's people hard to make it to understand. the A, but people don't understand. Like making it overseas is even harder. You gotta be like I know. Like for example, look at look at T.O. Tyler Ofray, bro. Yeah, he's one. He's probably point guard I play with the best point guard I played with, and he's not overseas. Yeah, no. And he had who drinks? You know what I'm saying? He would have went. If you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That that and it's it's so hard because like you know there's only like a couple spots for Eric. Americans. Yeah, so. exactly. So they I for certain leagues like each team gets like two green yeah, cards yeah two two green cards yeah exactly you and don't like, just get it handed out you exactly. gotta earn that it's like and those trial. are mostly for like the, the big division one niggas exactly like we're division three like they're not gonna give a shit but oh where'd you come from oh Rutgers Newark <laughs> <laughs> Newark Newark where's that at yeah what division is that oh three like when I heard um, like when I heard uh, like you know that little overseas scout thingy mm -hmm. showcase mm -hmm. you know coaches don't even coaches don't even go there yeah the, they the record one that at the dome no, there's no coaches that go there. They just record it. You know what's crazy? I think that's when I noticed that it's over. <laughs> because look, <laughs> low key, I remember low key. Leonard, no, or Locke. One of them had asked me and somebody else to record it. I was the nigga recording. There oh, were that was no, you? There were no, I was up in the top. Oh, wow. You know where Sophie be at? Yeah. Recording them. And I'm like, and they paid me. Oh, no, they asked me because I, I was working out at a gym. You know, yeah, yeah. Shit. They're like, hey, we need someone to record. You want to make some money? And coach was there. He's like, yeah, he's a good kid. He'll do it. Damn, he didn't even give And I'm a... over here looking like, these coaches looking at film, like, think about it. Who's watching this? Like, the coach might, and... and people pay, like, $100 to do that shit. I think it was Leonard or somebody told me, like, the coaches look at some of the film, but they really just looking for, like, a certain amount of players. Like Exactly. They're not looking for everybody on there. So you got to drop 30 every day. And it'll be like, Literally, it's oh, like a weekend. James White's dropped 30 every game he played, and every workout he was good. Let me look at his film. All right, he's going to get into the basket. All right, invite him to this. Exactly. And that's it. And you're just getting an invite to another thing. Like to another showcase where you got to go up against better people that did the same shit you did. Yeah, bro. It's not worth it, When are your hoop dreams then? Probably junior year. Oh, I really No, nah, of high school. I was about to say, that's crazy. Like, I was about to say, college is crazy. Like, a, like, <laughs> a, like AAU, bro. Mm. Like that year when I didn't get, like I didn't have no offers. Nobody was like, look at me. I'm like, no, it's over. I'm not going to the NBA. Because freshman year, I thought I was like, yo, I need to trend. Like, you know. Oh, you're on, you on the I was on, on, the, the, on the hype? Yeah, the I was hype. on the, the, the transfer hype. People. Bro, freshman year of high school, bro, everybody wanted to, like, literally transfer out of Union High School, go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Either St. Mary's, Rosa Catholic. Like, that was the oh, thing, yeah. bro. Nigga said Catholic, Rosa Catholic, St. Mary's. Everywhere. Rutgers, probably. Every, every, every private school you could think of, everybody was like, we out. I'm because to... niggas trying to go to the league, bro. But niggas never did it. <laughs> and that's, what I'm, that's the thing, like, for example, like, um, Ithiel's father said to me, right? Yeah. My boy Ithiel, he plays for Pittsburgh right now, right? He his dad was like, most of the kids don't have to transfer. Like Ethio transferred out yeah. his sophomore year, right? Difference, you know, his brother got cut, so he's like, you're not gonna have my other son. And he's nice. Ethio was gonna stay in Union. Yeah, no. brother got cut, but he was like, Ethio already had like looks from Division One schools. Exactly. As a sophomore, he was breaking records at Union High School, so he had looks and all that, right? Yeah. And. His dad was like, if you're good enough, they're going to come to you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just know. But like, if you're balling, like, and especially, like, Union was a good enough school to be able to hang. Like, if we had everybody who was actually at Union, like, who lived in Union. We probably wouldn't have made the team. Bro, I'm not gonna, you might you might have. I might have made it you on the bench. I don't think I would have. I would have got that. I'm not going to. Yeah, that would be hard. Think about it, bro. So you got Roberson. You had Briscoe. You got RJ. <sighs> RJ. Trayvon. Jordan. Chandler. Remember that fuck Chandler ass. Chandler was mid. Chandler was ass. Chandler was mid. He was yeah, so I'm ass. I'm just thinking niggas to right. <laughs> <laughs> they so, not, yeah. Them niggas was ass. No, nah, that's. They used to just bully us because it was bigger than us. Low key, low key. Not low anymore. Key, key. It ain't gonna. It ain't gonna slide this Eric, time. Eric, damn man. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm thinking about jo it. You, you remember Jordan? Jordan Pierce. Oh, seven foot one. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I, I don't think he played basketball no more though. He just out there just being seven foot. Yeah. That's so ass. I, would I ain't hate gonna that, lie. Though. If I'm seven foot, I gotta go to the league. Like, if, like honestly, like if you seven foot. I think he went D2, right? No, he went Division one. He went Division one. He went Dayton, but then they had they fired their coach, so like, they, yeah, yeah, oh well, his coach is like, we're bringing a whole new set of people, so you either want to try come, out yeah. or, and he was like, nah, I'm going to Juco or some shit like that. Damn, poor kid. Hey, bro. Nah, <sighs> it would suck to be just seven foot living. Just living a normal life? Yeah. 
Six, not even hooping. Kinda, six eight kind of sucks. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, it's not that bad. You still play basketball, so you can yeah. tell niggas you hoop. He can't. He t- he tells niggas like I make music. <laughs> but like hey. six eight is like, damn, you tall as hell. Like, you definitely play basketball, but it's yeah. not like, like if you're seven foot, it's like, why are you talking to me? That's facts. That's facts. It's like what the hell? Hey man. Yeah. But oh, oh, I got a new thing I'm gonna do on the show now. What is it? It's called. Urban, it's urban legends and horror stories from each state. Oh my god! So I got different. So I have. So today, you know, we gotta start in New Jersey. You know, we from New Jersey and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And the uh, the shit I found it actually is in Westfield. This shit is in Westfield. Okay. So in 2014, right, a family bought a house for a million dollars in Westfield. No way! You, you tell me the same story. My mom told me this morning. Go ahead. Yo. Go ahead. Go ahead. 657 Boulevard, right, in Westfield, okay. New Jersey. Okay. So. There's a family. I think they have like three kids, some shit like that. 2014, and they started getting like letters mm-hmm. from uh, from a guy. They didn't. It was an anonymous guy. They called him the Watcher, and you know the first letter it said it was talking about. Oh, we've been watching the house for many years now, and just because you guys moved into the house doesn't mean we're gonna stop watching it. He's like, you know, hundreds of cars pass by the house every day. It could be me. A hundred people, hundreds of people walk past that house every day. It could be me. You'll never know it's me, but we'll still be watching. And the parent, the the whole family got scared. They start calling the police, shit like that. But they couldn't do nothing because there was no fingerprints on it. There was no name. Couldn't find out. The second one was like, There's had a second note. This yeah, they had they. There was three letters. The second uh, letter came a week later, and it was it had all the kids' names on it. And it was like... Oh, they're doing their research. Yes. Had all the kids' names. I had all the family members' names on it. And, like, they didn't move in yet. Like, every house is, like, vacant. So, they was like, oh, I wonder... They was like, so, are you going to tell me which uh, which room your kids are going to stay in? Because, like, they know where the rooms are. Like, each room. They're like, oh, which room are you going to stay? You going to stay... Is, he, is uh, What's his face going to stay in this room? Is this one going to stay in this room? Like, are you going to let me know? And they just... He's just playing with them. And he's like, from the watcher. And then the third one said... What the third one said? It said something about, like... um. They, oh, because they, after the second one, they didn't go back to the house. And then the third one came and they seen in the mail. It was like, oh, where'd you guys go? I haven't seen you in a couple weeks and shit like that. And they just, he's just like, oh, yeah, I've been watching, but like, I haven't seen you guys there. I haven't seen what's his face there. I want to know which rooms there are so I can watch them. And it says from the watcher. And then ever since then, they could never find out who it was, who was sending the letters. Cause it could have been like somebody who lived there in the past. Yeah. They said, he was like, I could be a neighbor, I could be the mailman. I could be somebody dropping off your packages and shit like that. I could be the guy driving your furniture to the crib. He's he's a weirdo. I'm not gonna lie, that's scary. Imagine that. Imagine that's for a million. They spent a million dollars on the crib. A million dollar crib, I'll be scared. But if it's my crib in Union, yeah, I wouldn't be scared. So what you doing? If I had a say, I got breach and I had a million dollar crib, I'd be scared because like I have a big ass house. But what if it's your house? Just your house right now. My house right now. Cool. Like what the fuck is you? I might. I might like. That but I might be like, yo, let's meet up. Like, like <laughs> I'm like, what do you watch my little ass house for? Like, that's facts. That's like, facts. I mean, like, there's nothing to gain. I mean, you pull up, like, you're watching. I'm like, cool. Like, when I'm on the front yard, I'm like, start, I might give him a nickname and shit. That's weird though, because um, like my boy Big Dub's in the building. Like, I'm gonna just feel me pull up the phone. Like, if you see this, like, you feel me in your next letter, let me know and shit. <laughs> and then, if he answers, not can start having a conversation. But with I mean, him. that's like some that's like some serial killer shit, low key. Like, ah, they might kill. Him. All right, so. If he starts touching my door and stuff, yeah, it's wildin'. Like, but, but you don't, letters, you, you don't know who he is. Like, he could be anybody. Like, he never, like, they don't know what he, what he looks like. I'd be in like. denial. I'd be like, it's my brother messing with me. Really? I'd be in denial. <laughs> smooth denial. Like, you would not think it's an actual human. I'd be like, my brother keep messing with me. He think he's funny. Wow. So you won't even call the cops? Call the cops. Oh, okay. I'm about to say, I'm calling the cops. Hell no. No. But, like, I'm a fuck with him, though. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I make it fun. But, yo, yeah. what's up? Pull up. I'd be like, what's going on, bro? But do you think you'll ever find him, though? I'm not gonna lie. I don't think that guy's findable. I don't think so it, either. It's not like the cops gonna be like, "Hey, are you? Are you the watcher?" Yeah, that's facts. Everybody's gonna be like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. But like, how? How do you just keep dropping the letters off with no like fingerprints on it and nobody noticed? No camera. That's what I'm saying. They set up a ca- nah, that's creepy. So that's what I'm saying. Mm. Like, like I would think like, oh, maybe he gave it to the mailman, but like they would just think it's the mailman. But like there was no fingerprints did, on it at so all. Did it have an address it came from? It was no. It was just letters. Like he read them, wrote him, wrote the letters himself. So how did the mailman drop it off? Nobody knows who dropped him off. It was. It might not have been the mailman. It might have just been him. Just I don't know. 20, I want to go to that house. This is twenty fourteen. Yeah. 
Not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna go to the house and write my own washer note. <laughs> <laughs> also, be fraud, scare him. Yo, Wait, he's back. Oh my god. Because low key, I think the, the and I think the fam like they sold the house again, and like nobody knows what's like happening with that house right now. Because a million dollar house is a that's a nice house for a million dollars in Westfield. Westfield like 15, 10 minutes away. Like, what if I just pull up, I find him, like, dropping a letter? I'm like, this is him. Hey, I got him. I got him. He'll kill you, no cap. <laughs> nah, facts. He'll kill like, you. he'll turn around and just, like, just sprint at me. Oh, my God. That's scary. <laughs> That's scary. So, like, you dress like the Riddler for the Batman movie. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Ooh. Ah, mm-hmm. oh, that's creepy. That's creepy. That's creepy. But you got anything we want to talk about? Because I got some other shit. Was that, was that on here um after the Batman movie? No, I don't think so. That's when. I think that was before. Batman, I'm, the Batman movie is better than the Spider-Man movie. I said that on here? No. I didn't say that? Yeah. You think so? I don't think so. Now in hindsight, I'm looking at it. My boy UJ was right. So you can say it, you. You can say it, UJ. Because <laughs> like, Batman was, li- I mean, Spider-Man was literally just nostalgia. It was, but I mean, mean. UJ made a great point. He was like, every 10 sec or every 10 minutes, you're waiting for that next, oh my gosh, moment. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I remember this from there. Oh my gosh, it's Doc Ock. Oh my gosh, it's the Sandman. Every yeah, and in the Batman, it was like a good movie. You could see they're setting up a lot of things. It was long. Yeah, it was. It long. Was, it was that shit was three hours, bro. I've never <laughs> fell asleep in a movie before. I fell asleep <laughs> for like five minutes in there. Like that okay. shit was crazy. But it was good though. What what would you rate? It? What rating would you give it? Batman, I'll give it a nine. I'll give eight point five. I'll give it eight point five too. That's what I'm saying. I'll give it Spider Man. I give him the same ratings. But Spider Man has higher because nostalgia. But I don't want to see another No Way Home. Oh, okay. I don't want to see another Batman. Mm. Yeah. Are you watching the Doctor Strange movie? Oh, I can't wait for that. What are you telling? I'm about? a Marvel fan. Who are you telling? Yeah, I can't wait for. I low key might be. I'm on the I'm on the the ropes with Marvel and DC right now because after I've been watching the DCMU, that nah, shit's the, fire. Nah, the animated series. Are that shit is so, so fire. fire, bro. I, I never I'm not gonna lie, there. That was. Me and my brother used to fiend those. They're fire. That shit is too good, bro. Yeah. Like the movies. Like I'm. What are, watch- what are you watching right now? I just finished Atlantis, like with Aquaman. Oh, okay, okay. So now I think. Oh, the that, animated one. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought you were talking about the movie, movie. No, it's like, it's not. It's not a series. It's just like movies in line. Oh, okay, okay. So okay, it's okay. like the Aquaman movie. I think that I don't know. I think next is Wonder Woman. Like it shows like how each of them. You like, have an order. Of how you're yeah. Watching it? I so what have on, you watched so far? I watched, I watched Son of Batman. Mm-hmm. I watched uh, Flash, mm-hmm. the Paradox one. I watched Injustice by accident. I didn't know that was the Flash last Flashpoint. You saw Flashpoint? Yeah, that one. That was pretty good. I like that one. Yeah. They, wait. So, were you supposed to start Flashpoint? Yeah. Flashpoint right. was the first. I, I watched Injustice first because I didn't know like there was a list, and Injustice was the last one. Oh, okay. Bro, I didn't know niggas like really died in that shit. What in Injustice? Like in that that whole series, I didn't know niggas like really get murked and there's blood everywhere. Yeah. I didn't know that. No, it's crazy. But well, you saw Invincible, right? No, I didn't watch that one yet. Didn't watch you didn't that watch one. Watch Invincible? Yet. I'm not up there yet. Invincible is a whole different. You gotta oh, watch no, it. I didn't watch it yet. It's on Prime Video. So far. Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. So fire! You gotta watch it. Is it a, is it animated? What is it? It's an, it's animated, but right, it's not it. it's not DC or Marvel's Capcom. It's fire. Really? Super fire, bro! Isn't it like a, a different version of Superman? Mm, it, you can see the parallels between that and the DC universe, but it's so fire. All bro. right, I gotta watch it. I gotta, you gotta watch, watch it. it. What? I gotta watch it. It's one season out. Second season coming out. What is it called again? Invincible. Oh, okay, okay. I haven't seen it. Nah, I gotta watch it. So fire! Oh my bro. god, bro! Hey, bro. But, oh, I got a question for you, right? Mm-hmm. So, you broke into Area 51, right? Mm-hmm. The alarms are going off. They're trying to find you. You mm-hmm. see four serums on the table. You see four serums on the table. Mm-hmm. And which one are you going to pick? It's fire manip... And they're going to, like... Once you take it, it's going to, like, change. you got to turn to a superhero. Oh, fire manipulation. So, one of them is fire manipulation. Shazam's lightning. It's, like, gamma radiation. So, you turn to the Hulk mm-hmm. or you get Magneto's, pro- Magneto's powers. Well, for one... So you gotta try. Powers are, is, is probably the first thing I'm gonna see. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's kind of broken. That is cheese. They can't shoot me now. Literally can't shoot you. If they have laser guns, turn those guns around. Exactly. Um, fire manipulation is kind of crazy too, if you think about it, the science aspect. Because when you fire a weapon, uh-huh. like the hammer hits the nail and then it ex- oh. the bullet explodes. Mm-hmm. If I could conceal that fire from exploding, oh, you just oh, nothing you could do now. Like I'm just like hold up, and there's a like, tink, 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 tink. Nothing's happening. Mm. So there's no there's no explosion in the bullet. Yeah. The Hulk would be mid because like 
you can stop brute force. You can with a good amount of people. Yeah, like the Air Fifty One, they got something to stop the Hulk for me. They do. What they the, have to. Yeah, they have to. What was the other thing? Like you know, uh, Shazam's lightning. Like you can control lightning and electricity. Would I have to turn into a kid? Nah. Okay. Um. I think the lightning would be the coolest. But like they know I'm coming, so I need to get be Magneto, Magneto to get out. Yeah. But the lightning would be the coolest. Which so you gonna pick the lightning? If there's like oh a rabbit hole and I could leave right here, lightning. But like, <laughs> if it's like no way out, then I gotta choose the, the metal. Yeah, I think I'm choosing either metal. You kind of convinced me. What if them. they use plastic guns? Because they're in Area 51 and they knew that they had that shit. <laughs> That'd be crazy. With plastic bullets. Then you need. I mean, I you can. Yeah, me, you though. can make a shield somehow, some way. I think you you made me think about the fire manipulation one, so I don't know about that. What are you picking? I think I'm picking. I'll pick Magneto's powers too. The fire manipulation though. So can I create fire? Yeah. That's tough. Like you're like uh the human torch. That's not bad. It's kind of buzzing. It's not bad. Nah, I'm going Magneto. Yeah, I think I'm going Magneto too, bro. Yeah. All right. But you got nothing else you want to talk about, man? I think that's it. Let me look at my notes. Is that anything you want to talk about? Yeah, that's it. All right. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of No Regulars Podcast. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Tyrone. You know what I'm saying? I think you're... I, th- I don't know how many, how many, how many episodes you done, right? This is like your fourth one? It might be my fourth, yeah. Oh, all right, all right. You get up there with Jay, bro. I don't know if you're going to catch it, though. Four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she got the most, yeah. Yeah. But if y'all haven't already, bro, uh, follow us on all our socials. We're going to put it down in the description. Follow us on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? If you want to message us on the DMs, you know, I go. I get back to my DMs. Tick- I didn't realize I have a lot of people DM me on TikTok. Yeah, you don't look... Bro, I DM you too. No, no I'd be looking at you that one. But oh. like, there's like requested. There's a lot. You know oh. what they be sending me? What? They be sending me like things of like God. Like send it to a friend that don't believe in God. I'm like, yo, are you good? What they think you... Yes, they think I'm like a devil worshiper. Like every, like literally everyone is a this video. Is someone who needs to see the Lord. Yes. OD. Like I'm like, all right, bro. Right, OD. But yeah. like if y'all want to message me, message me on like our Instagram. We're going to... Uh, we see that a lot more. So we'll message you back on that one. Yeah. yeah. And if you haven't already... Follow us on all the podcasting platforms too. And Apple Podcasts, like I said, people, that review, if you want to, you know, ratings, it don't take too long. It just takes a, a second and shit like that. It's free. It's free. Like I said, it's free. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. If not, then fuck out of here. <laughs> if you're new, subscribe, like down below, hit the comment section, all that good shit, you know what I'm saying? But um, ah, yeah, we different. They re- Wait. Damn. We different than regular regular man gangster. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.